good. Yo, sir V, you don't act right. Act right. Act right. Act right. Sir V, the number one rapper in the world. All right, so I'm here at Blacklist. I just walked in, man. Blacklist presents Sir V. It's just a great way to bring the two worlds together that might not always know so much about one another. I don't think I realized at first that skateboarding and music had quite the connection that they do. Over the years of going to shows and, and running into guys that you skated with and vice versa. And it just ended up being a conversation piece all the time, talking about mixtapes or this, that, and the third. Looks like I don't even really have to worry about anything else like money or relationships. Something about producing and just creating content comes so naturally to me. It's honestly the content that I create that I'm gonna hold my most pride to. <laughs> here at the shop a couple years ago. Uh, rolled through with a crew of homies, skated out front, hung out for the afternoon. We probably saw each other you know, a few times over the next couple years, um, just in and out of the shop. Uh, then realized that we actually shared units in the same warehouse. Uh, we had a spot on the top floor uh, that we skate in every week, um, and he had a studio on the third. Um, so then we started messing with each other a lot more at that point. First time we went there, Joe showed us mad love, and years later, I have a, a sponsor behind me that I have a personal connection with that we can both relate on skating and, and music. Recently, Blacklist and I did a show here in Cincinnati. It was really successful. It was cool. It was fun. Packed house. It was crazy to uh, be part of a show at Top Cats because as a kid, it was always 18 plus, uh, and so we, we'd always try to go up these old hip hop shows, Souls of Mischief, um, whoever was coming through and we'd always try to like finagle away inside. Didn't always work. Heard a lot of shows from the sidewalk, um, but, but it was cool to, to finally uh, be a part of a show at a club I've been going to for a long time. Anybody who's ever been to the shop or has met me here in the shop knows that I'm a hip hop head and, and it kind of shines through in everything I do from our stickers to uh, colorways and we're always drawing reference to something. I think that skateboarding and hip hop music have always gone hand in hand. I didn't realize it as I was really young but as you get older you start seeing the freedom of it you, and you realize you know, skating is free and it's all improv. Um, and you're adapting to your surroundings. Very much the same that hip hop is always changing based on relevant events and what's happening on currently in the world. It's always changing, it's always uh, fluid movement. I feel like skaters have always had an 
outsider's perspective on the world just all the hatred and, and misunderstanding from the corporate world and the respect that they didn't necessarily get that they wanted and i feel like an independent artist can directly relate to that just off the pure feeling of disconnection from the world obviously there's huge correlations between hip-hop fashion and skating fashion you know what i'm saying with the baggy clothes and stuff throughout the years and you gotta look funky man you know and i think that comes uh, largely through uh through hip-hop music you know there's, there's definitely other avenues of skating with you know like your rocker look or whatever it may be but uh yeah hip-hop definitely shines through with uh with your appearance the way you move and even hip hop music in Tony Hawk games and stuff, like back in the day, I remember Tony Hawk Pro Skater games, like Pro Skater 3 had the uh, the Delta Funky Homo Sapien and stuff like that. Like, I, I remember playing that game and just playing that song, like, over and over again. I think that the current time that we're in, everything's a little more interconnected. Um, I mean, we can, of course, credit that to social media and um, the internet, and um, it's kind of brought all these worlds together that maybe they didn't really mess with each other so much before that. But yeah, yeah, I, I could see that, you know, back in the day, you didn't see skateboarders in every music video or people talking about skate brands. Um, it kind of blew my mind when I started to see those those two worlds really come together and you're hearing MCs shout out brands or, or certain skaters. That, that kind of tripped me out at first, but uh, it's, it's pretty commonplace now, I think. <laughs> Servi invented the color yellow. Today we're gonna break down a beat that I made for the grip tape, a beat tape presented by Blacklist. And uh, I'm just gonna show you guys what exactly I did on each part of the beat. So this is what it sounded like pretty much when I had originally messed with it. I'm not gonna tell you how to sample. After I laid the sample down, I put down the hi-hats and the snares to get the true bounce out of it. So then I went and added in my own acoustic guitar to like accompany along with the sample, you know what I'm saying, to be truly melodic. So it's already beautiful, you already know. I'm going for the Guinness Book of World Records for most beat tags a producer has, you know what I'm saying? So I picked a couple different ones for this one. I think I used Yo, yo, sir V, you don't act right. I use that one. Damn. I always use this one. Damn, 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 damn sir V, you're going dumb. Ha, <laughs> sir V Studios. I use that one. So the beat all together sounds like. Yo, yo, sir V.
shout out to Joe down here at Blacklist, man. Hook the young serve you up with the yellow grip tape. The grip tape, the grip tape. Grip tape. I grew up in a really small town, and I saw a lot of people, a lot of kids that would just kind of be consumed by their surroundings and, and would just grow up to be part of, you know, small town rural life or farm life. Uh, but for me and my friends, we were the opposite. Uh, we were kind of turned off by that. So every weekend, you know, we're, we're going to the city, you know, skating, you know, trying to learn about hip hop and, and just figure out different ways to get involved in this stuff because we just, we knew there was something more out there. Skating has definitely influenced, you know, I mean, my life and my style and, and my music. I got my first skateboard when I was like six, five or six years old at Kroger. You know what I'm saying? If I'm not making music here in the studio, then I'm literally skating or I'm actually recovering now from a, a foot injury from skating. I broke my ankle recently. That hurt.